For years now, it seems like the war on Christmas has only been getting worse. First, it was the mangers, then it was the trees, and then the word itself. Uh, but now a school in Illinois narrowly escaped having to ban the entire holiday. Last night, the school board in Oak Lawn held an emergency meeting with parents over rumors that children in the district would celebrate winter festivals instead of Christmas and a fall festival instead of Halloween. It reportedly all started when a Muslim parent asked for Jello to be taken off the school menu and for her children to be separated from others during the Ramadan fast. That was okay with the school board, but somehow or another it morphed into equal celebration of all the holidays and has resulted in some pretty outraged parents. It's wrong. You're in America. I'm sorry. To take our, try and take our culture and wipe it from the face of the earth is absolutely wrong. So where does practical religious accommodation end and catering to political correctness begin? Dr. Zudi Jasser, he is from the American Islamic Forum for Democracy. And Ahmed Rahab, he is the executive director of the Council on uh, American Islamic Relations in Chicago. Let me start with you, Ahmed. Um, you said... Uh, and I want to I want to get this quote right here. You said that some of the locals don't come across as incredibly educated. There's Budweiser anger there. What do you mean by that? I mean, it is not the type of America that we are aspiring to have. It is not the pluralistic, inclusive, educated America that we try to teach our children to embrace. They are trying to exclude Muslims from celebrating their festivities. No Muslim involved in this ruckus at any point wanted to remove Christmas or Hanukkah or even Halloween from the school festivities. All they wanted to do was to bring in Ramadan. And some of the parents, who were essentially racist, felt that this threatened their very being okay. and decided well, to take the decorations I mean, down. And, it's, cool, it's that. cool to throw around the racist word, but let's try to keep this a civilized discussion here because there are, there are a lot of people that are a little upset, and, and it's not just at Muslims. It's, I mean, it's all of the religions are upset at each other for trying to uh, trample on the others. And I have no problem. If you want to be separated because of a fast for Ramadan and you want your children to be removed, that's fine. But what about the jello thing? I mean, you're gonna, nobody can have jello because your children can't have jello? Christians are welcome to have pork fortified jello if they want. Uh, Muslims right. don't have to have that. Jews don't have to have that. So you can offer different. They don't have to have the jello. Uh, well, exactly. So, but you, you'd need to offer a different type of jello that doesn't have gelatin, pork okay. gelatin in it, and and let give that option to the Muslim and Jewish students. All right, Zudi. Um, the mom just wanted to hang decorations for Ramadan. That's how it all started. She just wanted to hang decorations for Ramadan. What's wrong with that? Well, I think educating people about Ramadan, you know, I'm fasting, I always answer the question about why am I not drinking water, why am I not eating, I think education is important, but decorations and, and trying to impose sort of a celebratory phenomena, I, I think crosses the line of uh, uh, church and state, not to mention that in Muslim societies, we certainly celebrate the end of Ramadan, but during Ramadan, actually, I think what's happening here is you have uh, Muslims who are demanding to be American rather than Amer Muslims that happen to be American. And, you know, it's interesting that they seem to find little battles to impose their political stances and balkanization of, of uh, Muslim identity. And I really think it's not the way to approach our current situation when so many Americans are fearing so many things about transnational Islamism. Would you like to respond there, to there that, is no. Yeah, there, there is absolutely no imposition of anyone's culture here. Um, I think Mr. Zohidi Jasser is being rather hypocritical when he says that it's okay to have Christmas in a 50-50 school. 50% 50 of the population in that school are Muslim, 50% are other things, including Christian. And Ahmed, if they, you, you can't will tell not, half you, the children, you, you, you can't tell half the children that you can celebrate Christmas. Christmas and turn around and tell to the other half of the kids, listen, you're somehow uh, second-class citizens, uh, your festivities are not... So, so you would like to see America turn into a you'd like to see America turn into a competition of holidays from from the holidays for uh, Buddhism and Sikh and Hindu and should we have no, uh, no, all I'll of a sudden every other week that is a leap of folly. I will not even I will not even call that a, a leap of faith. That is a leap of folly. Nobody's there, making that giant leap. There is one holiday in this country this is a that's religious with 50 based percent and it's Christmas. Muslim students. Okay. There is one holiday. We're not asking Christmas. for malls. Other Listen, we're not asking for malls to start celebrating Ramadan. We're not asking for schools where there are a couple of Muslims to have anything beyond an educational if, um, if you happen um, to, if you have to about Ramadan. Ahmed, if you happen to go up where there's 50 percent, let's just, I'm just making this up, 50 percent Wiccan. Mm -hmm. uh, and, it was, and, and it was all Muslim before that, but there's 50 percent Wiccan. You, you cool with, you know, doing the pagan stuff in the school? Well, I think it's a preposterous comparison no, 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 because, sir. No, 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 sir. Uh, well, listen, listen. Yeah, no, you, you know, 50 years ago, it would have been, it would have been ridiculous to say, it would have been ridiculous, sir, to say 50 years ago to say that about America being... It is ridiculous to compare a global religion. Okay. 
You can, you can be a so in other words, you you're saying that Wiccans, people are you saying, sir, that Wiccan is not a religion? religion Wiccans, okay? Are you saying that Wiccans it, are it not is, a legitimate it religion? People, it is to some people, but it's not comparable okay. to Christianity, Islam, or Judaism, or any of the other large faiths in this country. Zudi, thank you very well, much. Ahmed, as always, thank you.